or the forecast. Let's turn now to meteorologist Katie Suniga. Yeah, so the fortunate thing is that the teen 18, 15 degree overnight temperatures. So cold yesterday. Those are done for right now. But still, if you're outside and you're, you know, not in the most protected environment. 30s are still cold. 30s are still cold. <laughs> Out here at Seaside, Shiloh in camera, a different scene than what we were looking at when we were in the Newport camera not too long ago, where everything just looked like it was clear and we were starting to see some sunshine. It's a different, different scene for you in Seaside and that's why I wanted to show you is it's different depending on where you are within the region. Look at here. You can see out of Willamette Valley. Looks to me like there's a little rain snow mix going on there. You can definitely see those drops on the camera and the little white flakes are a falling and we're not quite done for the showers this morning. Now we're not expecting anything crazy, especially as the temperatures are warming. We're going to get in the mid 40s today, so it will eventually taper off for us. As far as the temperatures for the next week, we're looking at a slight warming trend and then a cooling trend. So where we were and going into last week is we had those temperatures that were in the 50s, low 50s, and this was just right or above average going in. Then we had that system come in on Wednesday. Those temperatures plummeted along with the overnight temperatures and then we started warming again going into the weekend. Once we have our high today, this should be back up in those low to mid 40s. Right now it's looking like the mid 40s, which is great because that will help with that additional melting. As I mentioned, the metro area definitely has a chance for the morning showers mixed and then a drier afternoon and evening. Once we hit this high, we should have some sun breaks and it should be not as clear as yesterday, but enough to at least help with the melting and then to night not quite as warm as last night, but still warmer than the night before. And now we have those showers that are coming in. And as we've mentioned, those will transition into another chance for snow, which is why we have another first alert day for you or morning tomorrow morning. That doesn't mean we're dry and in the clear. After that, we still have several days with showers and some even again with some rain snow mix. We have this continued cold air that's coming in. The only time we have a chance to break that is when and you can see by Thursday early in the morning, we have just some high pressure, just a little knob right here that moves on out right away. And then that next round of cold air comes down. We could stay cold and I say it's cold below average, which we should be around 50. 53 right now, maybe 54 for some of us. That's not being touched going into the start of our March. Here's where we could see some sun breaks. You see that is around those mid mid 40s. That's a little cooler. We're not quite the peak of the day. And then we have a few scattered showers. We get into tomorrow morning. First alert morning chance for some snow that sticks with us. We now get to the afternoon. I mentioned maybe not quite as clear as we were yesterday or maybe even today, but we're still seeing a little break. Then we have this low pressure center. You can see it spinning, bringing all of that moisture in all the way through Tuesday. Now we're seeing a chance for some precipitation Tuesday morning. You can see that and that continues into Tuesday night. As far as the cascades go, Good accumulation possibility today. Some models are saying six up to 12 for others. There's also winter weather a watch up on that mountain, which weather advisory for us seeing is that there's a chance for some additional snow. As far as our temperatures go, we're looking at warming ever so slightly Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's still below average by about five degrees. And then we cool as we go through Friday, Saturday into the weekend. Temperatures in the low 40s again with those showers for next weekend. That